welcome to another tutorial uh, we have just learned about extrude and bevel we will be trying to create this simple basic wooden chair by using extrude bevel and new tools like insert edge loop tool and bridge we'll be doing two more tools in this exercise while modeling a simple basic chair so let's delete this i will again start with a cube what we need to do is to create foot let's say this is the foot and this needs to keep on going this way and this way so we need some edges here we'll jump to edge mode we need some edge if we extrude from here let's turn on the tools i am not using any super shortcuts i am just using the menu for now and if we increase the thickness it goes like this what we need to do extrude from here so if we have a edge here which blocks the path and extrude from here that will work so we will add some edges or we can just go to the poly cube and subdivision height so let's use this for now and face then extrude okay now what what we will do here how can we put a edge here we don't have this this won't going to work now if we increase this is going to just get broken so we will use a new tool and we'll go to mesh tools the new tool is insert edge loop tool here is always make sure to reset the tool once we click on it your icon will change you see earlier it was like this once you get into the tool your icon will change so we'll just put the loop where it's needed and press w you need more loops you can put more loops now move to the face mode select the face what we will do extrude if you have done the exercise which exercise the snapping exercise you know what to do now we'll turn on the vertex snapping we'll select the top axis and we'll snap this to here so if you haven't done that snapping exercise i suggest you go back and do that exercise meanwhile let's continue i have created this frame here now i need to go back and create another one i have a simple way to take a duplicate now my snapping is on just turn it off and let's say this much what we need to do we need to connect from here to here and here to here now this is two different object it won't just connect so we need to combine this object to a single object then we can do those things okay and if you see we also need to connect from here to here but we can't connect from here to here because we don't have the loops here right so we'll go back and we recreate everything with the loops okay so now what we're going to do i will take duplicate and do this same way here so we have the same number of loops at the both sides it will be easier for the next exercise so what we need to do we need to combine from here to here but both are two different objects so before doing to anything next we need to combine so we can create something like a bridge from here to here so let's drag select both 
and we have so combine here in the mesh so all the tools are in mesh edit mesh and mesh tool all everything related to polygon modeling vertex edge faces you will find here in these three 90% things are here so let's combine it now it's a single object if you select one this if you go to vertex mode make sure you combine these once we combine it let's go to the face mode select this face and select this face so now we have we are going to use our second tool which is bridge we'll go to the option box edit reset and apply once we apply the bridge it create literally a bridge so let's say if i select this and this what will happen it will bridge we can create an like that so let's see what are the option we have apply in the same way there is a pop up box scheme there is a division okay this is nice there is taper nothing is happening there is a twist it rotates the ob the bridge nice direction source it changes the direction source target then it should twist here bridge offset okay and curve type so there are curve it will add some curve or do something but nothing is happening right now so this is it for now let's add some more loops that will do the same way we will take a duplicate leave it here and we select both and we combine we go to mesh and combine we'll select this face we'll select this face bridge 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 add some loop just in case you need it later we'll select this we'll select this bridge so this looks nice the frame for the table next we need to connect from here to here let's do that again sorry we are not using this shortcut we will be using this okay so what we see this is little skinnier here it's not proper bridge it's like extruded from inside so we'll do the undo we'll select this we'll select this we'll select this we'll select this we will use extrude and we'll do this offset just a little inside like this and then we'll do the bridge just a little you see then okay so we close the option you will always found your bridge here and you can add your division so you see we need to do another bridge from the center so we put loops accordingly so we can do another bridge from here so the number of edges you can see 8 6 sorry so we'll do it here again and bridge and number of division 6 and we'll do the another bridge i hope it's the middle one it's the middle one but it's nothing to do in this we'll just leave it we'll work on the top okay it will be like this we'll do that later properly next is we need to make the top framework we'll select both faces we'll extrude 
where this is screwed this is screwed and just take it to the top this much sorry like local thickness 10 this should be enough we're going to need similar number of loops so we can bridge in between mm, that should do so let's place this to this this to this this to this like this and another one and bridge sorry I'm very used to of doing that something happened something didn't happen okay I selected lot many of them all together it got confused what to do so you just do one bridge at a time again sorry here this should work bridge nice this should work and we just need to create the base or the where to again this is a very basic modeling our goal is to understand the tools so where you can implement in your scene so we have covered bridge and okay so let's snap it we know the tools now so we're changing the pivot right now d and turn on the vertex snapping snap it here and press d now the pivot is here vertex snapping is on i'll just snap it here it perfectly sit on the top we'll select the face select the axis vertex snapping is on we'll just snap it here you guys really need to practice the snapping because this is going to ease your life see so let's get rid of unwanted loops so we can bevel it so let's just try this select all edges and try bevel i am very this work but not very perfect ah, that will do nice somewhat finishing you need to match it manually that's it so this is it a basic simple wooden tape uh, chair while using extrude bevel and two more tool bridge and insert ice loop tool that's it for today's class we'll see you in next class